the time has come to now write your own code. Now, we could do this just by using a simple text editor, as you would find on any computer. It's perfectly possible for me to write some HTML tags like this, um, save it as an HTML document, and then run that in the browser. Um, another alternative, as most web developers use, is a special type of text editor, which will recognize different tags and allow me to do things like uh, this, where I can say body tag and hit tab, and that now you can see that's auto completing this, so it saves a lot of time from typing things out from scratch. What we're going to use today is an online code editor, very simple to this uh, sublime text, but because it's hosted in an online space and it's offered as a free open source program, um, it's very helpful for us as a starting point. I'm just going to take you through a few steps about how you can create an account in uh, 30 seconds and get started and familiarized with the Thimble editor. So as I said before, um, it's offered by Mozilla Foundation, uh, the creators of the Firefox browser, and it's a fantastic built-in uh, code editor. So the first thing we're going to do is say start a project from scratch. And you'll see here it's loading up our project space. So what you have here on the left hand side is our uh, text editor environment. So this is where we can um, edit our code. On the left here you'll see we have a file structure. So what we're currently looking at is the index.html file. And all of this code here is being read by the browser. And actually here on the right we have a preview pane. And this is kind of demoing us live what this code would look like in the browser. So we don't need to go through the process of saving this file, uploading it to a server, and then serving that file to a browser. That's happening all on the fly for us. And even better than that, we can make edits on our code on the left, and you can see we're getting some live um, kind of updates on the right-hand side. Perfect. So. The next thing we'll just show you how to do is create an account. Um, it's free to do, it literally takes seconds, and then it means you can save your work and come back to it at a later time. So I'm gonna click create an account. Very just simply put in some details here. Lots, okay, good. Uh, and nice bit of password security here. There we go. I'm in. You don't need to do that again. Obviously, helpful if you remember your password. But now I'm signed in. I can uh, have a look at my projects. If I create new projects, there's a list of them here. And so this is just a really, really powerful um, and intuitive thing that we're going to use to be writing our code.